Hi, my name is Lily. I'm a fiber artist and knitwear designer and I like to make things. So for the past few weeks, I've put blood, sweat, and tears literally into preparing for my first in-person market. And I went into this experience with literally zero inventory in what felt like less than zero time. So I documented my experience making everything I'm selling today in my past two vlogs. And today I'm finally sharing my first market experience with you guys. So thank you so much for coming along this journey with me and let's get into the video. Really? Hey, you gotta look pretty today. Okay, running a little late for the market, but here's my OOTD. I'm wearing the new bow top that I made in that like two vlogs ago. And then this like cool cutout skirt I made for outside lands like two summers ago and then my black boots. So this is the market fit. And I'm running late. Make it rain, girl, make it rain. savings day. I am so freaking happy that the sun is gonna set an hour later now. So today's the day after my first ever in-person market. And firstly, I wanna say I'm sorry that I didn't film that much of the market. I filmed like the setup and stuff, but I was mostly there alone because my boyfriend had to work. So I was already feeling like not shy, but I was already feeling like a fish out of water a little bit with it. So I didn't really want to also like pull out a camera and be like, hey guys, so here's how it's going in front of a bunch of people. But I did like film the setup. I filmed like what my booth looks like and like all the clothes I had on the rack. But yeah, so yesterday was my first ever market and it was, it was really good. I was exhausted by the end of the day though, which is kind of funny. So the night before my first market on on Friday night I was like oh like let's go for a little bike ride like nothing too crazy and then we ended up biking like some trails in Golden Gate Park and then we went to the beach and then we were like everyone's having bonfires because it's like a beautiful day like fuck it let's have a bonfire long story short I didn't go to bed till like 11 30 ish the night before and I had to wake up at 5 45 so that was kind of um an interesting choice so then I was kind of tired the morning of my market but I was actually like ready like I was excited and ready so I like woke up got ready and then we had to like set up we had to fill a bunch of bags of sand for our canopy like that went over I mean, thank god that we did because it was so windy like people's shit kept falling and i if i hadn't done the sandbags like if i was like feeling lazy that would have been a disaster my rack kept falling over because it was windy but this like really kind person at another booth was like we had these extra weights so they gave me their weights and that was so nice and saved my life but yeah so we set up and then i just kind of chilled there for like five hours like chatted with people gave out business cards like i don't know did my little 
pitch, except not really because I'm not good at stuff like that. I was just like, if you like it, you can buy it. Yeah, and so it was good. Like, I honestly barely sold anything, which is crazy. Like, it's not really crazy because I went into it with very low expectations. Like, I was like, if I don't sell anything, like, I'll be fine because I'm doing this purely for, like, an exploration of, like, possibilities and, like, you know, I have no idea what to expect, so I'm not gonna have high expectations. So I kind of went into it already, like, knowing that, like, it could be, like, a total fail in terms of, like, monetary success and that would, like, be okay. So I didn't sell a lot. I have a few theories as to why the most popular booths at West Coast Craft sell smaller, less expensive items. It'll be, like, the jewelry or, like, the mugs or the rings, like, stuff like that are, like, so popular. Or, like, the t-shirts, like, that are, not, like, printed and not that expensive. Stuff like that does really well. Like, they have, like, swarms of people, but, like, booths that are selling, like, more expensive, like, clothing items, like, handmade clothing items, like me, there's a lot smaller of a market for that type of customer at the craft fair, I feel, which is, like, why maybe I could focus on smaller things, but I don't know. That's not really what I want to make. So I think that's kind of a big reason, like, the amount of people who are, like, coming into that craft fair willing to spend money in the first place because a lot of people just, like, look around, like, including myself, is kind of low. I also only did three styles. So I did the turtle neck top mini skirt max skirt that's it so like if you weren't interested in any of those you would not buy anything because i only have those three styles it's not like i have a lot of variants so i want to have more variants in style i want to have more sizes and i want to have like a mirror for people to try on and i want to have also like a few black pieces because i love color but i actually do like black a lot too so i'm totally fine with doing like lots of color and then a few like black 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 pieces like dark black anyway so yeah those are my takeaways i'm gonna definitely be doing a few more markets we'll see after i've done those how i feel like if i feel like it's more successful because obviously i can't spend a bunch of money doing markets and never sell anything because i am not rich overall it was a really fun experience it was a lot of work i wish i made more money if i had made more money i'd be like hell i mean duh i'm like hell yeah i would do it again but we'll see so i guess it's kind of markets are tbd for me i'm being so real with y'all and also everything i didn't sell i'm I'm gonna be selling on my website foobizu.co so in case you want to buy anything if it's still available you can buy it on my website thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and the series of vlogs previous to this if you've been keeping up with the market journey it's been really fun to like document and even though it's kind of hard to vlog when you're already working so hard i want to because i want to look back on these moments and also just hanging out with you guys i want to share this with you because it's really fun my first time selling my own clothes in person and that is really exciting and that was on my 2024 bucket list manifestation so i already accomplished that thank you guys so much for watching this vlog you guys slay the house down and i'll see you in the next video. Love you guys.